Hey guys. Crime scene is just up the dirt road, detective. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oops. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Moving along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. That's right, you guys scram. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Cole, you're such a rude man. What is this? What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. The victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. You are very deft at opening and closing that bag, Cole. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Change the one. The Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? Cause tape that's the coolest fucking table lighter I've ever seen. You're looking at a bush. Well, I guess I'm also looking at a bush. Don't think this is anything. This doesn't pertain to the case. I knew looking at a bush would be useless. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. This is morbid. This is very morbid. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Hmm. Interesting. I want to point at the boobs. Let me point at the boobs. Or I could caress the boobs. Caress them. Yes. Yes, indeed. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD. Like Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. 
Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst on a case like this. Are you kidding me? Run, goal! Yeah, that's right. You will hop over that. You have a special guy, Cole Phelps. A special guy indeed. Out of the way, everybody! The we have to go to a... My money? Copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got next. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, hotshot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us unknown in the corpse? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, Phelps. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of stooping. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. Well, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder with them, locusts. Where Fuck do you I think the werewolf so killer bad. is now? <laughs> uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. You would have found it. Uh, I'm running. Calling all cars. Citizen reports. Officer needs help. Shots fired. Officer down. 6th Street and Lindley Place. 6th Street and Lindley Place. Unit to handle code 3. Identify. Citizen needs help. Shots fired. Officer down. 6th Street and Lindley Place. 6th Street and Lindley Place. I'm coming. Unit to handle code 3. Identify. This is car 11K. We're right there, right now. That alleyway leads to the rear of the building, sir. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. Top killers are the worst kind of scumbag. Oh, I went the wrong way. Fuck. You shot me in the hats, and for that you died. Uh, uh, should have had that second lunch. You like killing cops? I shot him like three times for fuck's sake. and assist. help console the officer's family but these guys are done yay every time I do one of those little missions it's like everything is fresh and clean now now I can race really fast to my destination and hopefully I won't run into any vehicles yay <laughs> so let's see how that goes Why does the Bomba Club have a garage? Cocktails. You ought to meet those and air buddies. conditioner. Nice. Hey. I want cocktails and air conditioner. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, 
five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's a hibiscus? You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Inquire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Pour me three fingers of rye. You're such a lazy, like... Eggs run. Lump. Uh, I don't like so, you as uh, much as the old guy. How you fish salad? I just don't know how to dance to bebop. Wait, 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 wait. I want to hear how the tuna fish salad is. Who is talking about tuna You're fish salad? going to pay for that? I want to hear how his tuna fish salad was. House officer. That's the spirit. Pour me another. You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time, honey. Okay, where's the guy? Say, honey, what time did you get off waiting table? Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. Sure I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is... was a... a lovely woman. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but... I got no answer. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. My eggs were running. His oh, eggs were running. I, have another spoon? <gasps> I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Ooh. You want a tip? Refill my coffee next time. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Oh, I totally got all of them right. Oh my god, I'm so good at this. Even though they seem way easier than all the other ones. I got a call back for that universal chorus line. Let's get out of here. No, let's not. Hey, let's use this hurry? phone. My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. It doesn't appear to be connected. I'm using your phone. Oh, this, no, I'm using the payphone. Okay. Operator, give me dispatch. How can I help, detective? 